Hey guys, I'm here um, to show you the bulletproof bat suit leg armor and arm gauntlets. I'm going to show you how they were made or tell you how they were made. Basically, I bought um, ballistic fiberglass ballistic plate from the BAM Ballistic Armor Mega Store on eBay. It was a level 2A, 11 and a half by 14 inch plate. Rate, um, bought that, I think it was about $30. I think it had free shipping. They actually sell a, even a 3A level for a little bit more. You'd have to check, but that's where I got my um, ballistic plate for the chest, the legs, and the gauntlets. Now the ballistic plating on the armor is this section here. This entire section is a ballistic plate on both legs and on the arms. This shape here is a ballistic plate. They are basically mounted to, oh, and the, the knee armor is D3O impact armor. And what I did is I had a uh, catcher's shin guard, traced out the pattern for that, traced the pattern out onto, I believe it was seven to eight ounce leather. So I cut this shape out here, right here, and on the arm cut out, um, I had a gauntlet that I was using for like a renaissance gauntlet. Cut the shape out for this piece. Cut it out of leather. Cut the fiberglass plate. Now the fiberglass plate is, you have to get a special uh, saw bit, so, or sorry, saw blade for it to cut uh, fiberglass plating because it'll, it'll eat up any other saw blade. So get a, I think it's, uh, it'll actually say, I think, uh, fiberglass, for fiberglass cutting. Um, definitely wear protection, wear breathing protection, eye protection. I wore a Tyvek suit and rubber gloves, or, uh, yeah, and gloves, because that fiberglass gets in your skin and it's just like, like nothing. So uh, cut out those, mark out those pieces for the gauntlets and the legs, the chest uh, plate armor also, and even the abs. And the abs changed from hard armor to soft armor eventually, but I still have the hard armor. So I cut out those pieces, cut out the leather. Then I used contact cement, glued these down to the leather. Then I took a fabric, covered the entire thing, and glued that down over it, sealing it in. Then I covered everything, well, um, then I covered everything with a uh, spray dip, not, not a spray dip, a tool dip, the black tool dip that you can buy in the store. But I also covered this uh, shin here. This centerpiece here is another seven to eight inch, seven to eight ounce leather piece. Same thing, this is seven to eight ounce leather piece. These are Picatinny rails that I added, uh, the idea was that he could add extra tech to his gauntlets, but when you look at it, it's, it, they're very, they're very heavy. So, and then the blades of course are plastic because running around with knife blades on your arm, uh, cut yourself up and cut other people up. But the idea was that he could mount other weapons like his uh, shock gauntlet or whatever to this. But also if you hit somebody with this, it's, it's, uh, metal so it'll actually do some damage um, so these were then these were screwed into the fiberglass plating this is leather uh, the uh, d3o knee pad was covered uh, same thing in the fabric and the uh, spray dip tool dip and these are actually uh, foam pads, floor padding. This is Kevlar. This is layered Kevlar down here on the, to cover the top of the foot. It's sealed in here between layers of fabric and uh, foam. 
the foam is on the back side. Also, this is uh, floor padding for padding on inside. Then they are um, screw. I drilled holes through the through the leather and took uh, Chicago screws and screwed through that and took the webbing, screwed, uh, actually melted holes through the webbing with a, a soldering iron, then put this through the webbing, of course, cut the, the strapping to the right length, and I put, instead of riveting this, riveting this on, I screwed them on so that they can be removed, change the webbing if you need to, change out the strapping. And the knee pad up here was added with a piece of leather. There was a like a three inch wide, but I think six inch wide, six inch long piece of leather that I glued into the inside of here and then put padding on the inside. Just a little bit of foam to make, uh, make it a little bit softer. And then Velcro, big Velcro pad there so that I could take this elastic Velcro strap and go around the back of my knee so it would stretch when I move. So, did that twice. Of course, covered it in, uh, once I did the black tool dip, then I painted it black and then did some weathering on it just to, to make it, I could have just left it all black, but I weathered it up to, to make it look a little bit more uh, um, beaten. And the same thing with the gauntlets. The gauntlets were done the same way. Um, like I said, um, glued to the leather piece. These were screwed into the, into the uh, ballistic plating. This was glued onto the top of the uh, fabric covered uh, ballistic plate, which was all screwed, which was all uh, glued to the leather. And then of course, holes were drilled through the leather and uh, used sh Chicago screws and buckle clips and did some uh, floor padding foam on the inside for uh, make it a little bit softer. And that's basically about it. I did that twice. Did the armor, the ab armor, which wasn't used, um, but I still have that. That's the same idea as that would have been covered and then mounted to leather and then mounted to the chest. But the, for the chest armor, I took the pec, I did like a pec armor, mounted that to leather, glued that to leather, and um, mounted that behind a uh, foam armor piece, and then covered that all up. But I'll do a I'll do a little instructional on the chest armor, and uh, I think that's it for that. And I'll show you a couple other things before I go. So I'm going to pause it, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I just wanted to show you the the cowl that was used in the video was something I made up really quick just so I could shoot the video and have my face covered and everything. Um, it's gone through different inc incarnations and up till now it's, yeah, this is the one I'm going to be using, um, a little bit bigger and probably put uh, impact foam or something in it, but, and of course it'll be made out of fiberglass and a little bit more, uh, a little bit thicker but it'll be more of an impact helmet. And uh, this one was 3D printed on my uh, Lulzbot. And with the front, back, and ears, uh, my version, the ears, I actually uh, made a little bit smaller. But this is 105%, um, so it fits really nicely. Oop. So it fits nice on, on your head. And I'm going to be selling this one off. So if you're interested in this one, or uh, if you're interested in this one, I, uh, you can direct message me. And we can uh, work out the details with that. So I have this cowl, which is designed after the Arkham Knight, Batman Arkham Knight suit. And then I actually have from one of my other videos, or uh, I think it's on one of my videos, that I'm going to be using, probably using for a try to work a bulletproof ballistic helmet into it is a it's a, a fan design Arkham or fan design Batman Superman armored helmet which I think is one of my other videos if not I'll show it in a later one so this one 
is the cowl design that I'll be using for the bat suit. Um, as of right now, it's subject to change, but that's probably what I'm going to use. And if you're interested in this, direct m message me, and we can work uh, work out the details if, you, if you're interested in buying it. Because uh, this uh, it's four pieces, front, back, and the two ears. So if you're interested, get a hold of me on that. And if you have any more questions about the ballistic armor, you can direct message me on that. And uh, I think I'll do a longer video up on my Patreon. And um, I think that's it for now, guys. So I think I gave you all the information that you needed or you need to make one of these. And uh, stay tuned for more. I'll probably do one on the chest and the back and uh, more as the suit progresses. And I'll show you the armor that I've been working on for the future design, which I'm going to test out at WonderCon for uh, fit and maneuverability. Okay? Have a good one, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.